fishing poles. Oh, a bunch of different ones there. Check. Got my camera mounts. Got fishing lures and fishing lures and fishing lures. Clothes, sleeping stuff. Kayak. It appears I'm about ready to go. I got a little bit of work left to do. I'm about to go on a 10 day trip. So I got about everything I have loaded up. Um, I try not to bring too many fishing lures cause look at, just look at what I'm leaving behind here. I'm sacrificing. Quite a bit of stuff left behind, which I can't take it all. Rods all over the place. I really do like traveling, but I, the, the packing part is very stressful and takes way longer every time than I think it is. That I think it's gonna take. So I got like all my clothes, I had to wash all my clothes, packed up, cause I'm going for like 10 days. I may have to stop and wash clothes somewhere, but I'm going to Michigan, about to leave. I wanted to leave early this morning. It's one o'clock right now and I'm about to get in the truck. But before I do that, I got a little bit of YouTube stuff to get caught up on, answer a few uh, questions on emails before I can leave because I go on these trips and I won't be able to reply to a lot of stuff for several days sometimes until maybe I stop somewhere. So I had to choose the right lures, choose what rod and reels I want to take and just be specific, choose what gear I'm taking. I got to load my laptop up just a second. So this is a start to a trip. I wanted to kind of show you maybe a little bit the beginning of it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do today. I'm not gonna get to Michigan today, but I might stop and fish somewhere. So um, this is kind of how I try to get things done. Here I am trying to get everything organized, just about ready to jump in the truck. A little bit of stuff left to do and we'll be on the way. Driving up through Kentucky, it came through a storm, then it cleared out, and I kept on moving and started doing a little scouting. And uh, going about through Lexington area, I saw this creek or river creek, couldn't see what it was. I pulled off, decided it's time to do some scouting. I want to get out and try to fish a little bit. I got like 30 minutes before dark, did a little internet searching, drove across a couple bridges looking for access, and I found a park. And it looks really awesome right here. I don't know if it's backed up or what, but. I'm gonna mark this on my maps for maybe a future place to come to, but I gotta at least get a few casts in, and I think I'm just gonna go ultralight probably, just try to catch a fish. I fished for a little bit, didn't um, didn't get anything there. Then I found another spot and uh, didn't take my camera. I ended up catching a fish, so I got a little rock bass in Kentucky. Well, this morning I'm in Ohio. I'm getting up. This is day two. I may get all the way to Michigan. I'm not sure before I stop again. I want to I want to do some fishing today, like some real fishing. So stay tuned. Hopefully, some like real fishing is coming out of today somewhere. Just pulled over at a rest stop and uh, I was just gonna get out use the restroom grab a bottle of water and guess what happened to be right beside this rest stop there just happened to be a creek here so I was all excited I walked over to check it out I walked about a hundred yards did not even see a fish so I was like that's ridiculous so I'm like maybe I don't know what it is maybe there's nothing in here I come down to this very end was like a log jam and I'll see some minnows and then I see some bluegill so right now I'm about to go in there and see what I can catch Well, this is the little, this is a log jam, like a big, just pile of brush. And it's the only place I saw fish. I saw a bunch of little, uh, oh, there, there, there's minnows, but I saw a bunch of bluegill come out, but I ain't seen nothing anywhere else. Oh, wow, they am getting there. Oh, there's some bluegill, there they are. They're definitely hanging around around this brush pile. It's like a little school of them. Oh, had a bite. Finally had a bite. Oh yeah, I see them right there. Is that like the only thing in here? Oh, they're nibbling at it. Eat it. They're coming at it. Oh, got one, got one. We got a bluegill. That's a good shaped bluegill. Look at that. 
hooked him in the head there. He's like really round. I hooked him in the eyeball. All right, he'll be all right. So there is fish in here. Like this kind of stream, I thought I was expecting to see some big old bass like cruise, cruising around somewhere. Like I walked quite a bit of it and nothing. Like not any sign of life other than right here at this little log jam where there's minnows and bluegills. There's gotta be other fish. I don't know, the, everything's, you know, it's the uh, land's a lot flatter. Oh, thought I had that one. Land's a lot flatter. These stream, this stream right here, it must like dry up and only have water running in the rain when it rains or after a good rain or something. Okay, these blue can fight hard. And they're very healthy looking. These are some super healthy bluegill. Very round. Okay, well that was a success. Two fish out of some little spot at a truck stop. I mean, at a, at a rest stop. I just, get it, come on. It's just like this little school and that's all I've seen. Like 10, 10, 12 bluegill. Oh yeah. <laughs> They're, they'll peck at it, peck at it, and then one of them will slam it. Dude, these are awesome looking bluegill. Like when I'm looking out there, they look tiny. I thought they were like tiny, tiny bluegill, but these are actually nice, healthy bluegill. <laughs> Is there not a bass or anything else in there? Really doubting it. Come on. The bluegill, some will, some will peck at it and then some of them are just eating it. Uh, that's a, maybe the smallest one, but it's still super healthy looking. Very round. What makes them one there? What makes them be more round, round shaped than like long shaped? I always think it's just whenever I see them like that, I feel like they just have so much food. They're they're just uh, a lot bigger than their age, or they're big. They're big for their age, I guess. Oh, we got people up there. Park area people relaxing right up there so they're probably wondering what I'm doing down here okay let's get to the front of this pool and we got a good uh, like top covering I don't know what you call that matting right there where fish could definitely be hanging out underneath hopefully something comes out of it oh, nothing right there that ought to have been a fish <gasps> there's a bass there's a bass there's a bass right in front of me. Oh, he looked at it. There's bass in here. There's a little bass right in front of me. Just came out of nowhere. Got it, got it, got it. He sucked it in. That's awesome. <gasps> there's a nice bass. Oh my, look at that. One, two. <gasps> Dude, there's a bunch of bass right there. This little hole is loaded. Oh my goodness, look how fat this thing is. That's a that's a big in there. Like a that's like a two pounder. Oh my. Dude, everything looks everything's bigger, way bigger than it looks in there. Cause they're oh my goodness, look at the stomach on that thing. He's got a long whisker coming out. I don't know if that's a crawled out whisker or what. He's got something coming out of him. He's been eating. My goodness, these things just are eating good. This guy is stocky those other ones were fat so there's fish up in there i may have to go to a little bit bigger lure i had to dangle this one uh that little swim bait i dangled it in front of his face a couple times and then he hit it so those other dude there's fish in here there's some oh they're there they came back out all right let's get back to fishing okay got this uh i'm gonna use the same 130 seconds now jig head for now anyways should be fine i got a 
big old grub. Well, it's like a three inch grub. So it's quite a bit different size and it's a brighter color, but a lot more food. Since those things are, those little bass are fat. They, they're eating good. <gasps> yes. <laughs> he came out shooting for it. Oh, that's a nice one. That is a nice one. I can't believe that. That's insane. Look how thick this dude is. Oh, man. Get out there. I'll just pull and the lure across. It comes shooting out a rocket. Oh, God. Okay. He's 12 inches, but he's so fat. Yeah, okay, so, dude, everything I thought about this creek for, I almost passed up and not even threw a lure in there. And then again, I could have fished up there where there's nothing, that they're just really hanging out next to this cover. All right, let's go back over here where I was catching those bluegill on this other side of it. So now we know there's bass. Maybe they will look down this way if I throw a bigger lure out there. What is that? Oh, it's not a, oh my, it's a good bluegill. It's not a bass, but a nice bluegill. I'm trying to decide what to do because I know I can tell that they have to have some kind of cover. They gotta have something to hang to because this creek's just nothing. There's just nothing in it. It's just open, wide open. If there's not a, it appears if there's not a lot of a tree or a big water log jam like this. This is a huge log jam. But it's just loaded with fish in there. And they're healthy, really healthy. If there's not that though, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna catch anything else other than just in a place like this. But how many more of them are there in this creek? Oh, had a hit right there. Really good. How many more places like this are there where they're just stacked up and I just happen to come to one which is right beside the rest stop. Oh, I just, well, I took the hook so hard. I just broke off. I saw that guy come in and get it and I just, I just saw it. I just got excited and I jerked like a, like I was setting the hook on a, you know, with my heavier stuff and he broke me off. It wasn't a big bass, but it was, it, it was probably bigger than I thought though. He's probably at least 12 inches and fat. All right, I went ahead and retied a whole new leader line. I just got a four pound line on it. And we're gonna go with a little pile diver. It's a, a blue kill can eat it. And, a, and the bass like to eat it, so. All right, let's catch a few more. I don't know if I'm gonna, I really don't know if I wanna just start getting in the water, start exploring or, or what, because I'm still traveling. And I kinda, and I'm hungry, I haven't had lunch yet. I kinda wanna go get lunch. But this place is so cool. Like if I come across another little log jam or I find another hole where there's fish, there's just no telling what could be in it. Oh, oh, something like that, come on. Oh, there was a bass, there was a bass, he was coming for it. Wait, that's not a bass. Dude, I think that's a pike. Maybe that's why it broke me off. Dude, I think that's a pike. Let's see if I can get it in front of it. I didn't even think about that. I forget that I'm in a foreign land here. It's, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. I got a pike. Oh my goodness. Yes! Oh my goodness! Uh, that is so cool! Oh yes! Check that out! Dude, I am so excited. That is like... That's unbelievable for me. And he's got my other lure in his mouth! <laughs> this is unreal. This is so cool. These are what dreams are made of when you're a creek fishing fan. Dude, we just got a pike out of this little ditch. 
There's a lure I cut him on. There's a lure that he broke off on. Oh my goodness. I don't care if he's tiny. That is so cool. Got my lure out. I'm not 100% sure if that's a pike or a pickerel. I'll let y'all northern people let me know. Dude, what a stop. Oh my goodness. I'm so, if you haven't, can't tell. I'm super excited. Just be able to catch something like this. I don't know if they do all right. Oh, it's so cool how cool they look. All right, I think he'll be all right. I got both lures out. I didn't have pliers or like little snippets. I meant, I'll make sure I put them in my bag from here on out, fishing up here. Just don't know what you're gonna come across. <laughs> Oh man, that's too cool. No, look at all these, there's a bunch of minnows here. I don't know what these kind of minnows are. Those are little mosquito fish. I don't know what those little striped ones are. Dude, this little place is unreal. This little spot right here. What else is hiding in there? Oh man, that's, I can't, that's gonna be, I have a hard time getting over with. I know I'm, uh, I'm up here in Northern um, Ohio close to getting close to Michigan and you know it's a thing that I, I know those fish are up here but it's like I, I didn't even like it didn't even cross my mind that there'd be a, uh, a little pike or pickerel in here it was like that's that's just and then to be able to catch one since I don't even get to catch those even though those are that's a small little fish but they're so cool he broke me bit my lure broke me off so that's why he hit it so fast those things hit aggressively then the second time I saw I, he followed my lure I threw in there like three times and I had to let, let it sink to the bottom right in front of his face and kind of twitch it and he ate it again. And that time I was able to get him in the corner of the mouth, be able to land it. He's sitting down there in the uh, in the shade right now, still resting. Oh, got something. I got something. I got something. Oh, oh, that was a decent little bass. He hit it right at the edge. He got me tangled up with a bunch of brush. I just want to drain this spot right here and just see how many fish are in here. Like just uncover all this debris. Cause if there's fish on the outside, there's probably all kinds of fish sitting on the inside that are not coming out. Well, I found a little more access. Like looks like the water's kind of low, but look how open, like there's a lot of water out there. I'm just looking for any logs to throw by now. Oh, there's a fish. What is it? Nice bluegill. I just cast it over at that. There's a little bit of trees and sticks in the water. And he got me a pretty good bluegill. Oh, and there you go. Another nice bluegill. All right, probably gonna head out here in a minute. This is a place, oh, there's like another log jam way down there. But um, I can see a little bit of a little log jam down there, but then there's all these trees and different things through here. These fish are really just holding to structure because everything else is kind of wide open. Man, could you imagine putting a kayak in a little spot like this? There's just a little bit of flow. You could put your kayak in and just kind of cruise way down there or up and or and then make your way back up so easy it this this it would be so cool to explore this on a kayak I, I would definitely have to figure out a way to do it if i was if i had more time but or if i had uh if i lived close but i'm like i'm eight probably eight hours away from my house oh oh that was a solid bluegill probably eight hours away from my house and i got a couple more two two to three more hours to go to get to the spot in Michigan that I'm gonna be fishing tomorrow. And oh, this is so worth the stop. I just love this kind of stuff. Uh. All right, let me get one more. They're biting over there. All right, we'll leave with that guy. There's another solid round bluegill. 
Look how I was looking at all the water line. There's a water line where the it's about two about a foot and a half, two foot low, where you can tell that the water either can get up to or stays at, and this is dry, or maybe maybe this dries up and comes and goes. It's just a super interesting place. Man, I'm so glad I stopped here. Let's get out of these weeds now. Like I say, fish anywhere, fish everywhere. You never know where fish is gonna be. I came so close to skipping this place. I, I saw it, I was excited. I walked it a little bit, didn't see a single fish. Didn't see a minnow, not a bluegill. And I'm like, well, that's there's nothing in here. If I've walked uh, 50, 50, 60 yards and I didn't see a single fish move and the water was clear, there's not fish in there because they're, they're, they're gonna be all over the place. No, it's not the way it is. I, I luckily I, I saw a few bluegill. If I had to saw those bluegill, I would not even have fished here. Saw those bluegill, led to catching bass, led to catching a pike, led to catching a bluegill, and just understand, just a learning experience, understanding. I try to make myself cast in places no matter what, just because you never know. I, I've been surprised like this so many times, yet I still sometimes almost, you know, just not fish it or just how many times have I turned other stuff away that there's, it's just a really cool place to find. So, dude, I was less than an hour out there, um, parked it to get the rest stop walked over there walked up and down the bank and man I, I just love that I just it just it's I think that's the kind of fishing that anybody can enjoy no matter who you are if you can't if you don't enjoy that kind of fishing you just don't like fishing unless you're only targeting certain fish like this that's just fun little light rod see what I can catch be surprised what comes out of there and how chubby everything was so uh, I guess that's gonna end it for this video I am almost to Michigan I'm gonna get off and do some back roads um, cruising because I got a little bit of time and get some lunch, cruise some back roads, start trying to kind of look around. I'm gonna be into Michigan pretty soon. Then I may stop it at some other places. I may find more places like this. I may stop and find places I don't have fish, but that's gonna be it for this video. Next, hopefully I have several more videos coming from fishing in Michigan. And um, thanks for watching. Appreciate it, everybody.